I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here with the HP NV17. Now, this is the laptop we've all been waiting for. It is the big screen desktop replacement version of HP's NV line. We've already seen the 13, 14, and 15 inch versions. Here's the 17 inch version. Makes for a really great home theater kind of laptop. It's got a huge 1920 by 1080 resolution. That's uh, Full HD, and of course you get a Blu-ray drive to go along with that. Uh, high-end Core i7 processors, couple of options there. High-end ATI graphics, and of course the this super solid uh, metal construction that we're used to from the NV line. It's a very big, very heavy laptop. It's got the same backlit uh, flat top keyboard that we're used to from the other NV models, and of course backlit keyboards. Once you get used to those, there's really no going back. And uh, it's got the same large touchpad. They call this more of a click pad than a touchpad because instead of individual left and right mouse buttons, uh, the mouse buttons are actually built into the bottom of the pad. The entire thing is on a little bit of a hinge. So when you click down on it, it kind of goes like that, a little bit like Apple's uh, current MacBook laptops do. And you're going to see a lot more click pad touchpads in laptops going forward, replacing the traditional touchpad and then separate mouse buttons. One of the big selling points for the NV series of laptops has been the collaboration with Beats Audio, the guys who make those Beats by Dre headphones. And like the other NV models, the NV17 has some Beats Audio hardware and software built in. Uh, you actually get a Beats uh, control panel that you can use to uh, adjust the sound settings, uh, you know, theater settings, headphone settings, gaming settings. And of course they claim, you know, it sounds a lot better if you're using those expensive Beats headphones along with it. Uh, but, you know, it gives you really nice, for a laptop at least, sound, even when you're using the built-in speakers or your regular headphones. You might think that a laptop like this would really break the bank. In years past, we could see paying $2,000 or more for something like this. But fortunately, lower laptop prices across the board means that the high-end bar is really lowered. Uh, the NV17 goes for $1,500 or less, depending on how you configure it. I think this particular review model was about $1,399, uh, which compared to the price of a 13 or 15 inch MacBook Pro, it was really kind of a bargain. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the HP NV17.